Yo, 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 guys, we are back with a brand new tip video. It's been a while since I've done one, so I decided to share this great, amazing one with you guys today. If you do enjoy it, make sure to always leave a like. It helps me a lot. Stick till the end of the video. I'm going to be giving you guys five amazing and the best ways to win gunfights and basically engage in gunfights. Now, they all have their own strengths and weaknesses so let's get right into it so we're gonna start off right off the bat with something a lot of you guys know so we're gonna go with the basic right now we're gonna go with the slide cancel so slide canceling is very simple to do there's three ways to actually do the slide cancel but this is a very fast and really good way to basically challenge people i use this movement all the time every pro player uses this it's just so freaking good to do it was a little bit more broken in mw but it's still very effective in this game so for the first way to slide cancel you want to do a slide aim in and then press jump so whatever your jump button is you want to slide aim and jump and this is basically like a nice little way to engage in gunfights and it's very smooth if you notice it and if you do it you're going to see how like smooth it is for the next we want to slide cancel is just slide slide jump slide slide jump slide slide jump slide slide jump obviously you have to be sprinting to do this movement you want to Sprint, slide, slide, jump, aim in. Now, this way is a little bit slower when it comes to engaging in gunfights. I think the other way I just showed you is slightly faster. By any means, this way is not horrible. I still do this way sometimes, but I like doing the one I first showed you more. Um, this is really good to more so to maneuver around the map. So you can do like this, like sliding around like that. But you don't always want to engage this way. I, like I said, the other one is a little bit better this way. Bang. Hmm. and for the third way and final way i think this got implemented like during cold war this is actually a newer way but there's actually another way to do it you just hold in your sprint button don't just like sprint and like hold off the like you want to hold in your r3 button or your l3 i guess it's the left and then you want to slide slide it's that simple hold it in slide slide and all you have to do is aim it you don't have to jump you don't have to do anything that it's very simple you just got to hold it in and slide slide and it does this very fast animation it looks actually pretty crazy um, when you do it, look at this it's so fast. Like I, you, you crouch down for a second and your character goes back up right away. And this is definitely really good to use like a lot, especially like in head glitches. So like, if you're going to challenge somebody and you want to go on this head glitch, like you want to camera them doing it like this is really good. Um, but like challenging on the open, I like the other one. I like this one more, the slide aim and jump, but you want to challenge a head glitch this way is cr the camera is crazy on that now for tip number two uh, we're gonna go to something that a lot of people actually are underestimating and don't do enough in this game and a lot of pro players are starting to actually apply this and i mean some of the best players in the world that i've been playing against are doing this movement and i've been doing it a lot more because it's actually really freaking good and super underrated so now we all know jump shotting this game is kind of iffy right but if you actually like i said a long time ago in one of my videos if you pre-aim the jump shot it is actually very good now, what do I mean by pre-aim? There's two ways you do it. One, you're pre-aiming and you jump mid-gunfight. Like, let's say someone comes to your screen. Let's say I'm pre-aiming and I just jump mid-gunfight. Wow, you have to be aimed in. In this game, it's not so good to, like, just jump and snap. Like, it's very... Like, you could do this movement sometimes, but this is sort of, like, pre-aiming still. Like, you're jumping around and pre-aiming. But in this game, there's two ways you want to do it. You want to either be aimed in you, and then jump mid-gunfight if you want to ha have a little jump shot to it. Or two, you want to jump around corners and pre-aim it. So like this. And this movement is in freaking incredible. It's such a camera. I've actually tried this in a private match. You will kill people before they, they, they might hit a bullet on you. Like, let's say I'm going to come around this corner. You want to jump and aim in. And yes, it looks so simple. It is actually not that hard to do once you kind of just understand you want to sprint and then jump and aim in right away and kind of pre-aim the strafe. It is doesn't look that hard to do, but this movement just like that is actually freaking amazing. And by how amazing, I mean, like, you could be one shot and a guy's rushing you. And if you do this and jump back out while aimed in, it, you will kill them. And there's and my theory behind it, why it's so good, because on top of it, jumping around a corner, being a camera, yada, yada. But the reason also it's so good is you're already aimed in. And what can you do when you're aimed in? You can shoot right away. So if I do this. Oh, now I got to aim in. That was a second. I'm a second late. Like, the, now he's probably going to kill me. But if I jump, aim in, and then look at him, bang. I'm able to shoot right away. And you just get so many free kills. 
now going into tip number three we're going to be talking about the sprint challenge now i don't know if you guys know in cold war they tried their best to nerf the slide cancel and make the sprint out a little bit more beneficial now attachments are a little bit of a factor in this because you want sprint out time attachments but if you're using like any of the pro player classes that has no stock or like skeletal stock that gives you a lot of sprint out time then you should be good to go so basically when you challenge people not you don't always want to slide cancel chow so you don't always want to go around the corner slide cancel chow the pull time is actually slightly slower now it's a very minimal difference but it's actually slightly slower the slide cancel challenge out like slide cancel and pull up versus just just aim in look how fast I aim in it's off sprint it's insanely fast look at this i'm gonna show you like i'm sprinting aim in it's almost instant but this way to engage is actually really good in cold war and you're you maybe not many people do it but this is a really good way that's why sometimes you just see pro players sprinting around they just do this like i do this movement a lot like i'll just start sprinting around i think i might like even though i might engage in a gunfight if i have to push up i'm just gonna sprint and i'm gonna try my best to center so if i think a guy's here i'm gonna center 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 nothing keep centering and then i get to my spot i want to be my power spot and i'm like all right i can slow down now but sprinting time sprint out time is really good especially as a sub um ar is obviously they're a little bit more premium heavy whatever it is but like subs are really good when it comes to sprinting out so you want to abuse that movement and it is the mini camera if you do it right if you just like sprint out really quickly around a corner that's also why it's so good and that leads me to tip number four now i gave this a little bit praise in probably an old tip video but another way to engage engage in gunfights and a best way to win gunfights is actually pre-aim strafing especially when you think someone is coming so let's say i know this guy's about to be here instead of me kind of like sprinting at him or like sitting here pre-aiming him another best way to do it is you want to pre-aim and strafe it and get ready and kind of like force the engagement a little bit but slowly so i know this guy's here like you basically want to do this you want to you want to get your crosshairs you want to get your iron sight whatever your shot into the guy like i'm about to here let's say i think i know a guy's green i'm gonna do this aim in and i'm gonna pre-aim nothing here pre-aim here and this is actually a really good way to clear it out and like obviously a lot of subs have good strafes ars aren't as heavy when it comes to strafing on some attachments and some of the ars so this is a little bit more beneficial to do with subs a reason why this this little mechanic and this way to engage in gunfights is so good is because it goes back to what i talked about with my jump shotting uh tip like you are already aimed in you don't have to snap you don't have to just snap randomly you don't have to like you know fix your aim like you're aim you're already aimed in into an area where your opponent should be so it's gonna be very hard to miss you're gonna be able to do this like it's gonna be extremely hard to miss and you're already aimed in what happens when you're aimed in you're already on your target so you can just shoot right away oh he's here let me strafe out oh i can shoot right away versus like having to like do this or like having to like snap on him i'm not aimed in it's, it's, it's a second delay you know so that's why this little way is actually really good and i want to say underrated it was at first but like now everyone's using it and abusing it you know what i mean and for the last tip tip number five we got a winner now this is a little extra tip that i decided to bring up because i do use this and i think it is really good and in the pro scene everyone uses this attachment so and it is in the class setup so it's just you might as well talk about it right so we're going to be talking about drop shotting now drop shotting is technically an attachment so that's where like it's like eh but it is i think it's kind of an, a, a crutch attachment if you guys know the, the drop shot attachment i'm gonna go to it very quickly it's an elastic grab now this attachment is phenomenal 30 in downside time so you get the most out of all of them it gives you 90 percent flinch resistance which is the most out of all well this one but this gives you nothing else and you get to you get to basically drop shot and like prone and stuff and the reason this thing is so good is first of all like i said it's on every class every pro player uses this attachment so every pro player can technically drop shot in some way drop shotting isn't as good in this game but there are ways to abuse it and there's ways to engage with a drop shot now one of the main ways you can engage in if you did enjoy drop today's video, video make sure to here. leave on, a here, like bot. we got some we want to do you want to aim in you guys you drop you the like that. Day. don't forget to now, this is like kind of a mini camera and you will get this kill almost nine out of ten times we'll again it's one a free day ass kill if you do it correctly if you time it right and you drop shot around the corner let's say this guy's about to push me he gets me weak he's like oh i'm about to push him and you do this little movement right here 
this will get you kills a lot it's really good but the trick to it is you want to be aimed in so you don't want to do this you can do this this is not as bad like drop shotting like drop shotting then aiming in but it goes back to what i was saying being aimed in is really good because you're already on them so you can just shoot right away so trust me you will catch a lot of people lacking doing that movement and another reason why this attachment is actually really good and beneficial is because when you don't have this attachment on whenever you're prone and you try to like aim in and like or like move and aim a little bit like your guy can't do it like it's just he he gets stopped like it's just a part of it's the, what the attachment does i guess it's the way they put um drop shining in this game so basically the reason this attachment is also really good and when it comes to engaging gunfights and being positioned if you're prone you can cut you can you can like comfortably lay prone somewhere and like if somebody pushes you you can comfortably like stand back up and like being aimed in the whole time like i can do all this movement while i'm aimed in and this is basically what drop shotting is you can't really do this when you don't have the attachment so let's say i'm i'm kind of prone someone's gonna push me right here i can comfortably like start shooting and stand up like if i need to like kind of move myself like there's no that you're not like limited you can just do this real quick you can you can crouch let's see you're laying down he pushes around you you can crouch back up but while aimed in and that's why it's so good if you did enjoy today's video make sure to leave a like we got some more content coming to you guys i hope you all have a wonderful day don't forget to subscribe to the channel our goal is to hit 200k subscribers we'll get there one day soon hopefully peace out